Hello, this is the video about the standing waves on a string experiment. In this experiment, you're going to be measuring mu, the mass per unit length on a piece of string, using resonance. In order to do this, there's some theory that you're going to need to understand. You're going to need to know a bit about standing waves. When you have a standing wave on a piece of string, It's going to appear something like this. In this case, one wavelength is equal to two loops. So two loops is equal to wavelength. You're going to be making use of the formula that the velocity of the wave is equal to the square root of the tension over the mass per unit length in order to work out what mu is, the mass per unit length. So in order to do this, you're going to need to know what v is. For waves, v is given by f lambda. You'll be able to measure f because you'll have a frequency generator and this will tell you what the frequency is. Lambda, you're going to measure from the standing waves using the fact that two loops is one wavelength. T is the tension in the string. You're going to be applying tension to the string by hanging masses. And so T, the tension, is just going to be equal to the weight of those hanging masses. Now, some other words that you need to be aware of in order to complete this experiment is fundamental or first harmonic. In a piece of string, this is when you have just one loop generated. The second harmonic is when we have the two loops. And the third harmonic is when we have three loops. For a fourth harmonic, you'd have four loops like this. Let's have a look at the equipment that you'll be using now. The equipment that you'll have for this experiment is a tape measure for measuring the length of your piece of string. You've got a pulley with hanging masses attached to it, so you can vary the masses and hence the tension being applied to your piece of string. You've got this frequency generator here, which allows you to change the frequency of the signal you're sending to this string vibrator here, which is going to vibrate the string. So what you'll be doing is turning on your signal generator and that'll turn on this spring vibrator and then you'll then be adjusting the length of the spring by gently moving this retort stand until you get nice clear standing waves. So there we've got one, two, three, four loops. So you'll then be using your tape measure to work out the wavelength of this string. You should come up with a way to measure the uncertainty in this. Have a think, would it be reasonable to use the limitation of the tape measure or is there a bit more uncertainty for that? So there's many things you can choose to vary in this experiment. You can vary the frequency, you can vary the mass, you can vary the number of loops that you look at. So you've got a lot of freedom to come up with your own experiment to measure mu the mass per unit length for this string as accurately as possible. At the very end of the lab, when you're ready to be signed off, your demonstrator is going to give you a five metre piece of string so that you can measure its mass. And there'll be a mark for having the correct mass for your piece of string. So have a careful think about how you can make your measurement as accurately as possible.